if you have CRTV, you've probably seen his show, Rant Nation. Uh, Graham Allen will join us this hour. Graham. Graham. Hey, what's going on, guys? What What is the history with, with Rant Nation? T- tell us how this happened. How did you end up? Putting this together, where are you from? What is the, yeah? Who is Graham Allen? Who is, what's is, the Graham Allen story? Graham Allen is just a uh, a redneck from Mississippi, man. I uh, you know I'm married to my beautiful wife. She's sitting back here. Uh, we have three children, but uh, yeah, I did 12 years in the army. Thank you for your service. Uh, thank yes, you. I appreciate it. Uh, there were a lot of guys that did a lot more than I did. I promise you. And, and so anyway. Uh, we moved to South Carolina, and it was my last duty assignment. And while I was there, I was at the corner of Paramendary, Paramendary Road one day, and an old woman ran me off the road. Mm. You know, and, and so uh, you know, I, I really wish that I could find out a way to find out who that woman was and thank her, uh, because if she had never run me off the road. I never would have made a video about people that can't drive. Mm. And that was the very first thing. That was the very first rant that ever happened. I really? Mean, yeah. I just it was one of those random things. This wasn't like a planned deal. I didn't say, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like uh start this whole brand idea and, you know, make that a job. It, it was an accident. And I kind of just got thrusted into it. And so I made that video, it took off, and then all my military buddies were like, Well, I bet you can't do that again. And I said, Well, watch this, buddy, I'll do it again. And so it kind of started off as like a gag. You know, a joke. And, right. You know, yeah. yeah, making fun of like, you know, guys that wear spandex leggings in the gym, mm. you know, and, and, and all this kind of stuff. Bad kids, Sorry, bad parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if anybody in here wears spandex leggings, I apologize. Yeah, it's right. unacceptable. Well, that one hit close to at home. Best. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's unacceptable. Anyway, so so that was it. And then about uh two years ago now, uh the Colin Kaepernick thing happened. Uh yeah. the first time. Yeah. And so I made uh, my very first video about something that actually kind of mattered or something that was pertinent for the time. And that kind of just transformed everything. And that's when this whole, you know, Dear America, you know, kind of thing started because it went from, oh, you know, you're really funny to, hey, you should talk about this or or, or you should say something about this or that. And I kind of just started doing that. I kind of waited for the things that were happening that I felt strongly about that I felt that I had a, a way to say it and you know I think I think we're over you know a billion views later now in in the past year and a wow. half and and, and so uh it kind of just uh, you know I'm putting one foot in front of the other every day uh hoping I don't uh, mess it up too bad so <laughs> what does it seem when you know obviously you do, you do these rants and and dear America and all that what are the what seems to be the topics that resonate the most views Uh, Well, the biggest video that we have ever done actually came back in July. And so, you know, I'd like to tell tell that story really quick. I know that you guys are, you know, Christian guys and everything. So I'd like to tell my Christian story really quick. So uh, I am a Christian guy myself, but but, but I, up until July, never really did anything that was, people knew. I mean, you know, if you listen to my viewpoints and how I talk, you know, it's very obvious, but I never did anything that was just, you know, hey, I am a Christian, right? right yeah. And so I had a Twitter comment uh, on July 1st from a lady, and the Twitter comment said, you know, Graham, I really like your your message, but your tattoos make you look trashy. And, <laughs> and as a Christian woman, I can't, I just can't look at you, right? right and yeah, so that's what sure. she said, you know, great, great example. <laughs> and so I, I wasn't going to do anything about it because we had already, we had already planned this huge 4th of July video, fireworks, pyrotechnics. We had a tack dog. Yeah, there it is right there on, on the screen. Uh, and so the rules of algorithms on social media is you don't post a video right before you're getting ready to post this video that you put a lot of production into, right? Right, Because you want that to go really far. But I, I don't know. It just kind of kind of messed with me. You couldn't help it, could you? I couldn't, couldn't help it. So, hold it so we were going to release the 4th of July video on July 3rd. You know, let it let it kind of trend. And so July 2nd, <laughs> the day before, I was working out at the gym, and I said, you know, I, I really think I'm just going to say something about this. So I called my producer up. I said, hey, I'm going to pull an audible. Uh, I don't think it's going to do great because I've never done anything like this. But, but you know, it's just one of those things I want to do. So I dropped it, and in the first hour, it had 14,000 shares, which I've had videos do a lot better than that. So it wasn't bad, wasn't fantastic, wasn't anything. And so for the first time ever, I sat back in the studio, and I, I actually prayed. And I said, you know, God, I don't ever do this, but 
if you can use that video in some way, then I just, you know, I, I just pray that you just let it go, you know, just let it go. And that video has, it, it's about to break 109 million views, but it has 1.6 million shares, that video. Mm, and it wow. reached like 150 million people. I mean, just that one video by itself. Mm -hmm. And we gained like a million followers to the show from that video. And so it was just really, really wow. crazy how that worked <laughs> out. And, and when I finally kind of took that stand of where I actually stand and where I believe, uh, you know, it, it turned into the biggest thing that we've done so far. Well, that's, uh, and of course, you know, who cares about the highly produced video after that? You got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. How, how did it do in comparison? Uh, not, not anywhere close to it. <laughs>